Edward can come the peace is living. Edward Gana. The peace is from back. Yes, I am. So we stop it. Uh, I like to just zoom in on the back neck of that uh, like it looks like it's, he's having a cut or wound I uh, can't see clearly from here as she look like you can see there there that might be caused by uh, Impala or it might be caused on the fight or it could be hyena be anything else which we were predicting we're not sure exactly if it's a bite from a hyena it could be showing i mean a hyena bite it could be because of uh, impala while she's bringing the impala down Directly. something might happen if you don't mind me asking i don't understand because you have two leopards here and wouldn't those two leopards karula and the cubs be able to overpower that hyena it can, but because of uh, the reason, you know, that the leopard is a sole trail species. Hyena is such a pair of powerful species. If one of the leopard guards there, or it could be the mother first, because the young side won't go there. If the mother has the attraction of the hyena, and the hyena able to injure the mother, is it actually that would lead the female to death. So it might be staying behind and check um, what the female, what the hyena is going to do. If the female, she's really decided to go, she might really charge the, the leopard and the, um, the hyena. If the hyena is able to run away, she'll quickly go to the meat and take it up. But it's a 50-50 a situation. You win, you lose. You know, that can happen. The female can decide to leave. The female decided to go. It will be one guarantee. It was getting windy here, uh, sometimes this is a perfect um, day for the predators to move and also because of the inside of the impala which is run on the, right on the ground here, it might be attracting a lot of hyena to come, it might be attracting a dominant male Mafufunyan also to come into the area and check around, that could be a high chance if a fully grown male come into the area. If it comes to one hyena, a fully grown male will be easy to push a hyena away and take the meat off. But I, I mean, I, I wish myself if this wind can blow to the right direction, then we might get to see Sandy Patch female coming here, charging the female hyena off and take the, uh, the meat. That would be very, very good for me. See, man, it's been a long time. I even. I won't tell you how can I describe a lion. It has been like uh, nearly two weeks now we have seen lion around in the area. So one of the species is very good. You see, especially a male lion moving around hunting. A strong collection of mamapoko. You think that they can try to bring buffalo into the area while you rushing all over the world. That would be nice and beautiful. Like the female is moving, going towards the hyena, the, the, the killer. Maybe, maybe she's going towards the youngster. This is more down that side. 
she's going away. She's quitting, you can see. She's heading down. Slowly, slowly. Maybe. You never know. She's gonna say to the youngster, let's go. Or she might be the time for her to go and say, it's enough for your hyena. Now, get off. She's going. Go, girl. Be brave. Let's follow up, man. Yeah. Well, we, we want to give her distance. Otherwise, if you drive so close, I know we always alert that something coming. But we would like to try to drive. Give her distance and get to see her. We're going to spend the time with the youngster. And the mother will do the job. Getting close to the hyena. She might go. The youngster, she but we are around the area. We look at the mother now. The hyena just went into the thick bushes here. Yeah? Not clever hyena, it's very, very stupid one. <laughs> because it's really fine, the area was very thick. And it will be not easy for the hyena because he had it in, I mean, dragged the meat into the thick bushes. If lion comes here, the hyena will be in the thick because really the area was 